Developing tonight, a popular businessman is killed while crossing the street and his neighbors are angry. He was killed by a hit and run driver. CBS 2's Roseanne Tejas is live in Chicago's Belmont Cragen neighborhood. Roseanne. Well, Erica, the victim owned the flower shop you see behind me. He was also a landlord, a beloved friend left to die in the street. And residents in this area tell me they're also angry about the lack of crosswalks and what they consider a very dangerous stretch of road. For him to be gone just in an instant without a blink of an eye, it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. You know, he was a really good man. 64 year old Alberto Zavala, shown here with one of his two children, was crossing the 5200 block of Fullerton Avenue Sunday night when he was struck by a car and killed. The owner of Zavala's flower shop, he was well known in the neighborhood. He was like a father for me. He was a very good person. He helped me here in the business. Maria de la Luz Treto has owned the hair salon down the street for 20 years and even today had flowers on her counter sent from Zavala just Saturday. Now flowers mark the spot where he lost his life. This community alert shows the type of vehicle police are looking for, a white Ford Edge, possibly with tinted windows, driver's side mirror damage and damage to the front end. 31st Ward Alderman Millie Santiago spent the morning passing out flyers. To basically ask people if they saw something, to say something, because we need to get this guy. Neighbors have expressed concern about busy Fullerton Avenue, the distance between the stoplights, more than four blocks, and also the crosswalks. They say they're not clearly marked, leaving pedestrians vulnerable when they try to cross. I think it's dangerous. They should put something there, like at least a stop or something, you know, for, especially for the kids. Now, she's referring to children who cross over to Hanson Elementary and a nearby playground. There are speed cameras in the neighborhood, and many are hoping they captured images of the hit-and-run driver. Chicago police will only say the investigation continues. Live in the Belmont Cregan neighborhood tonight, Roseanne Teus, CBS2 News. Erica? Right. Roseanne, thank you.